going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome to episode two of this video series on reviewing my subscribers cars so i had asked you guys on instagram to submit your cars to me for me to feature them in a video and episode one did really well so thank you guys all for your support if you want to know how to get your car into episode three feel free to head to the description i have all the details on how to submit your car so let's go ahead and get started first off we have cooper's car 2012 and press a hatchback so basic mods pc racing coilovers some xxr wheels nameless axle back has a steering wheel setup pretty pretty standard stuff okay i like the uh, satin white pearl finish i believe these cars are satin white pearl or crystal white pearl one of those i like the uh, wing riser there it's a very subtle touch uh, these are the same wheels adam has um, on his car so that's very cool I definitely like the wing riser. I missed that on my car. I used to have the same setup on my car. Oh, got the Colin LED taillights as well. Yeah, these are definitely one of my favorite mods. Um, the taillights were my first mods for this car, so uh, definitely a big fan. Like the wing riser once again. Yes, overall, very, very good car, man. Up next, we got Sean's car at baby blue super on instagram so i've actually seen this a couple of times and i've always enjoyed it i uh, got some nk wheels on there got a front splitter it is a 3m satin battleship gray wrap so it's gonna be a very very cool color got some bc coilovers 15 to 16 bumper swap proper blocks and legal length headers so if you check this out right here once again the ebay headlights make an appearance so these are starting to grow on me normally i wasn't a big fan of these but now they actually look pretty good i like how you did the yellow contrast in the grill with the hella horns i think it works really well uh, i like the fun splitter as well and this color um this wrap that you did it's actually suits this car very well love what you got going on back here the Colin LED tail lights once again I see your spoiler extension very cool everything really does tie in nicely I like the LED reflector that you have here very very nice touch oh heck yeah look at that you got the <laughs> decals on the door this guy has everything um, I think you could probably use a little bit more of a ride height change but that's just me I like my cars low but I mean you do you of course but yeah overall I love this car love the color and yeah great job all right up next is Alex car so we have a Impreza once again got some BC racing coilovers um, got a carbon fiber wrap fenders f1 light headlights from Japan uh, side skirts has a lot of stuff on this one so all right, so these are those headlights. Um, I believe these were one of the first aftermarket options available for this car. And uh, normally I'm not a big fan of those. I think the C light style looks a lot better, but I think it works well with this car. Love the wheels, you know, good fitment, always welcomed. You could definitely use a front lift, I think, but I do like this a lot. Uh, this color I've really never seen before, so it's also a welcome thing see I think one thing you do need is a wing I think it helps a lot with this car for sure there's no doubt about that but overall very nice car everything ties together so pretty cool up next we have Elvis's car at slow baru XV on Instagram 2015 cross track uh, BC coilovers wheels headlights taillights and a full diamond purple wrap all right so okay this is definitely cool um i'm usually not a sparkly wrap kind of guy but this definitely looks very unique looks really well done as well all right it has the hybrid tail so this is actually a mod i wanted to do on my hatch uh, when i first got it um, these tails come chrome it looks like you tinted the chrome part so it looks really cool definitely a very unique look um, compared to just getting the colonelli detail light so very cool man 
Uh, wow, look at that. That is... Yeah, I think everything ties so well together. Fitment's nice. Got the rear spats there as well. I can see that. eBay headlights once again. Looks like you blacked out the housings. Usually there's like an amber there, but there is not. So that's really cool. Good, good ride height as well. I like that a lot. Thank you for all the pictures, by the way. Definitely <laughs> gives you a better perspective. But you can probably go a little lower, but that's just me. <laughs> of course, I'm I'm a stance guy, so like I would rather see it tucked a little bit. But I mean, yeah, where it's at right now, I think it's pretty good. So thank you for your submission. Up next, we have Alex Carr. Uh, shout out to you, man, for selling me your control arms. Uh, he has a 2016 Impreza. Definitely a lot of mods on this one as well. Um, HPS intake, catalyst headers, and one has a CVT cooler, uh, battle arrow wing, etc. Very extensive list of mods. So I've seen this car in real life. He's actually on bags now. So this is his car. So very, very cool. Love the fitment as well. Got the front lip going on. I like the way the hella horns are positioned there. I always wanted to do that one day to one of my cars, but that never happened. Um, yeah, I love the stance on this. Looks good. And your CVT as well, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, these eBay headlights, man, they're everywhere now. So it's good to see the aftermarket expanding on this car. Because, of course, when I was doing stuff to this car there was nothing so very neat like the roof rack ties it in very nicely together so yeah overall very good car man i like it only thing i would do and you already talked to me about this is add a little more camber i think it will look a lot better when you're aired out so that's just me <laughs> thanks for your submission up next we got kyle's car so I've seen this on Instagram over the past couple years, and he's definitely done a lot. Let's see. He has a parts list for me here. HPS intake. Got a nameless muffler delete. A lot of stuff here. A lot of custom things. I'll just throw the list on the screen like I've been doing. Has a big brake kit. I did not know that, so that's very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I've seen this car over the years on Instagram and it's definitely progressed a lot. He did a lot of custom work. As you can see with the fender flares, the aero pieces, and this crazy looking wing. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Got the retrofit headlights. You know, it has his teal accents and all that. Not particularly my taste, but I mean, that is your car so you can do whatever you want. I like the rocket bunny style turn signal things in the bumper uh, that must have been really crazy to mount the grill has the grill lights in there as well looks really cool this wing so kind of reminds you of my hatch mount wing i used to have uh, but this look, looks like this one's bolted on in four different spots so yeah that must be really crazy to see yeah that's pretty cool man Got a custom diffuser, option lab wheels. So yeah, this car definitely very flashy for sure. No doubt about that. And I mean, it might not be everyone's taste, but I can appreciate the work that has gone into it. So yeah, it's very cool, man. Up next, we got Nick's car, Instagram, Nick Smith underscore 27. Got a Fiesta ST. So finally a different car. <laughs> Stage 2 Freak Tune, full bolt-ons from an intercooler, coder intake, Boomba blow-off valve, full exhaust cob, everything. Okay, so BC Extreme Lows. Okay. That is neat, very cool. I like the fitment. I don't know much about these cars at all, but um, I've heard great things about them, and they sound pretty cool. All right, Style & Co. Very cool. You see the front fitment looks pretty insane. Oh, we got some different wheels on here. Okay, these are rotiforms, I think. Yeah, so I actually like these a lot. Uh, the five spoke reminds you of some Rega Masters. Uh, but the rotiforms look good too. 
Yeah, I think for sure. I mean, I'm not sure your plans on this car, but maybe some more aggressive looking aero. I think it would help a lot. These cars are very round, <laughs> for sure. But yeah, overall, very nice car. Up next, we got Nathaniel. He has a 2013 Impreza Sport Premium 5 speed. Um, OEM hatch exhaust, rally arm mud flaps, rain guards, tint, 3x stretched high box, lowering springs, nothing done in the hood. Yeah, that's the story of us all, really. <laughs> so, Impreza here, the bumper cut. Okay, let's get a photo here. The XXRs, this fun fact, these wheels right here, the 527. I remember back when I had a Mazda Protégé, that was one of the first things I wanted to do was put it on XXRs. Dark gray metallic, can't beat that color for sure. Um, yeah, Rally R mud flaps, got the Sport Aero, which, you know, I had to get for my car. I, the car did not come with any of that, so the side skirts. Uh, we got a front lip there as well. So, yeah, not too many mods in this car, but it looks like it is a good start. So, yeah, best of luck with your build. Up next, we got Andreas, my guy. So, I went to school with this guy, and he has an MR2 and also an Accord. But here's the MR2, MR2 Spider. So, I've seen this thing in real life um, also, but... Here you got some photos of it here. Here we go. So here's the Kosei K1 wheels. Um, a lot of nice things here. This is definitely like a perfect toge back road car. So very cool. Normally I like the Gen 1 MR2s a little more than the Spider, but I, mean, I can definitely appreciate this one. Uh, I'm trying to see who has a mod list here for me. Here we go, mod list real quick. So hard top, coney yellow struts with tine lowering springs, Jose K1s, zero exhaust stainless steel pre fleet header, okay. Got some shifter bushings in there, uh, brass shift cable bushings, factory LSD, stainless steel brake line, so that's always a welcome thing. So back to the car. Oh yes, these are rear engines, so the front is a frunk. <laughs> Very unique looking cars. Always reminded me of like a frog or something. But, yeah, dude, we should definitely hit some back roads together. I would love to rip my 8.6 around for once. And yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So yeah, I love the wheels on this. I feel like it's such a classic look. I mean, I feel like this is, these are the wheels you choose in Gran Turismo <laughs> for all your cars. So yeah, I like the hard top as well. So yeah, very cool. Up next, we got Colin's car, Raised by Wolves 27. So, here's a brief mod list. They included rain guards, rally arm mud flaps, plate delete, overlays, LED fogs, front lip, NVIDIA N1. So, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's check it out. Colin LED tail lights as well. Okay, NVIDIA N1 did the bumper cut. Uh, looks like dark gray metallic, but I could be wrong. I like the sport arrow once again. These guys know my car. I have all the arrow pieces that you can get, really, for that car. So, yeah, very cool to have those. eBay headlights once again. So, I'm definitely seeing these a lot, and they look good for sure. Although, I do wish people would do the retrofit more. I mean, that's what I did. I know it's not the easiest thing to do or the cheapest thing to do, but I think it definitely can make your car stand out a lot because now I'm starting to see these headlights make an appearance on all these cars. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just noticing that though. I uh, like the gold theme you got going on, the dark gray. Definitely looks really good. Got the CVT life as well. So yeah, shout out to all the CVT guys out there. Yellow fogs. So that kind of reminds me of my car back in the day before I had anything. I had yellow fogs, the headlights, and all that stuff, the Colin LEDs. But yeah, like the gold and the black look good together. And the sport grill, of course, I always recommend people get this as a aesthetic mod. I can't beat the Colin LED tail lights. They definitely set off the car a lot. I see you got the rear spat setup that I got as well. So yeah, very, very nice touch. Side profile. Yeah, this car 
nice shape. <laughs> I've always said this about my car. It's a nice shape, especially with the hatchbacks. It looks very aggressive. Thank you for your submission. Next, we got Mikey's car. Okay, so we got nameless axle back, sport mesh grill, aftermarket headlights. Got some underglow in there, shift adapter. So, looks like you had another wrap. So, I'm going to show up before that. Dang, look at that, look at that underglow, that's freaking crazy. I used to have underglow on my Impreza too, but it ripped off in the winter time, unfortunately. Uh, telling you guys, the headlights are making an appearance again. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'm not hating on the headlights, because I, I literally said I like the headlights, but man, they are on every single car. So, <laughs> uh, here's the wrap. Okay, you got the camo wrap going on. Dude, that is cool, man. See, these sea lights are pretty bright, it looks like. I mean, it could be the camera overexposing the light, but either way, these lights are pretty darn bright. All right. Camera wrap's cool. I think I like it better with it just white, but of course, it's subjective to me. Uh, definitely cool. I like this. Gives the car a very unique look. Um, definitely need some wheels in there for sure. Uh, but yeah, very cool car. We got Sean's car. Here's an update. Um, looks like he added a new exhaust, the M1 Race. Oh, I like this a lot. The bumper cut. You see the white line sway bars and the bracing there. That is pretty cool. That's actually what I want to do with mine. Although I'm done modding the car, so maybe not. But that is very cool. So thank you for the update. Up next, we got Kevin's car at GW. But Jillian underscores AAA 2018 Forester. Okay, I like seeing these builds because no one really does the newer Foresters. Some people do, but I really don't see them as much. BC Extreme Lows, which are fitted lights, XT bumper swap, has some front control arms, STI 86 lower control arms, carbon grill. Okay, let's check this out. All right like the headlights he did the halos there oh the corazon grill okay so it's like my grill on the player <laughs> impreza it's like my grill on the impreza got some nice stance going on these are extreme lows okay i didn't know they made them for this car but that's awesome dang look at that i always like when the reflectors have lights in them i think it's such a premium touch definitely very cool tail lights are sick yeah, it's nice to see these lowered Foresters. I mean, I do like the SF Generation Forester, the one that looks like a shoe. <laughs> I just like it's more of a lower profile, but this is cool too. Um, got the tinted lights. I think tinted lights and silver always look good. Got the Jolly Bee plate. I see. <laughs> look at the exhaust. Tip. That thing is massive. Missing a mud flap there. What is your story? <laughs> but yeah, very cool car. It's also nice having some variety in this episode of a few different cars here and there. There's a front end shot, the hella sharp tones. Yep, the Corazon grill. Can't go wrong with that. Love the headlights. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of setup before. Um, hockey front plate. All right, man, that's uh, freaking sick. I like this lip as well. Uh, you, you said it was from eBay. It looks like it fits pretty well too, so that's awesome. Yeah, very cool car. And last but not least, we got my boy Nick's car. All right, so this guy, he's been on my channel before. I showed you guys his 22B. Uh, anyway, he decided to submit his car to me, and this is the last car for this episode. All right, so this dude has no Instagram, so tell them to send me questions slash comments via Carrier Pigeon. Okay, so 95 Impreza L, 1.8 liter. Ori Ciari front rear spats with matching skirts, mid rise RS spoiler, VAS carbon hood, painted WX seats, has a bunch of other stuff. NRD quick release, Nardi steering wheel, got some legacy wheels. Where are your TEs, man? You, you had TEs on this. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. But stock EJ18, 110 HP. Let's go. That's what I got too. Five speed transmission. Katana style slap plus 10 HP. Indeed. All right. So I've always loved this car. One, because it's a coupe. Two, because it's like pretty much rust free. So this car is a uh, a gem, as they call it. Uh, 
Here we are. You got the wing on there. Definitely makes a huge difference in this car. The wing is definitely like the number one thing. <laughs> doesn't matter if you have an L, doesn't matter if you have a 2.5 RS. It needs a wing for sure. There's the hood there as well. I did not know that was a VIS hood, so that's cool. Like these cannon shots or whatever. You should tell me where you got these shots at, bro, because we should definitely go there. Um, dude, look at that. I mean, I've seen this car like a bajillion times, but definitely really appreciate it that you submitted this for this episode. And these are some real nice location there. And there you are right there, the man himself. No social media because he lives in the 1970s. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very clean car. He has a lot of big plans for it. He actually did a bumper wrap that is not pictured here. So... Maybe in the future, we'll feature Nick's car again in a video, and then we can go from there, show you guys what's new. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I do plan to do an episode three if I get enough submissions. So once again, feel free to head down in the description below to find out how you can submit your car for the next episode. But anyway, as you can see, the shirt I'm wearing is the Katana style embroidered tee. I may do a limited run on these, so feel free to let me know if you guys are interested. Series 3 is still live on the site, so we got a bunch of stickers for sale. Um, definitely plan to release a t-shirt or two before winter time, which is ways away, but I do want to get some t-shirt releases out before then. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. As always, follow me on Instagram at worldikgfx. Check out Katana Style, katanastyle.com, and at katanastyle on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.